everyone, I hope you're having a marvelous day. Sandra Sherman here, greetings from Austria. In this jazz guitar tutorial, I'll be teaching you my chord melody arrangement of polka dots and moonbeams. This ballad has some real nice chord changes, unexpected chord changes, and a beautiful melody. I'll be showing everything note for note, slow and easy. I've also made tabs for polka dots and moonbeams and a backing track which you can download from uh, one of the links down below in the description box. All right, let's get started. We are in the key of F and we have the uh, classic jazz song form of AABA, each one being uh, 8 bars long, so we have a total of 32 bars. Here we go. All right, here is the first phrase. We start, we're in the key of F, we start with F major. I actually use my thumb here. First fret, second second in the middle two strings, and well, not the first yet. Now the first of the B string, then the third of the B string, the open E string, you could also fret like this, then you would have to move away with your pinky, it's also possible, oh sorry. Then to the sixth chord, that's the D minor seven. Five, seven, five, six, in a four strings only. Eighth fret of B, fifth of E by barring, and eighth fret of E. Um. Then the second degree of the scale, G minor chord, I bar it in order to be able to play the melody. Third of the E, third of the uh, G, B strings, and the fifth goes on the E string. That's a G minor chord, uh, G minor nine chord, actually. Then I'll lift this finger up and I have the three of third of the E and six of the B. Move it in, add the ring finger and you have a C7. Third of A, five, three, five, inner four strings only. And then I lift everything uh, off and I have three, 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 inner four strings, that's a C9 sus4 chord. All right. Then I repeat the first uh, line, F major, D minor 7, but now the melody continues on the F7 chord. 
eight, that's like the C7 here. 810, 810. Let's get you a better angle. Here we get, go. In a four strings, and then I'll bow over to the uh, E string, eighth fret, right? So. Resolution, B flat major chord. Eight, here's the B flat, 10, 10, 10. Then the eight of the E string, and the 11th of the B string. And now we have an, a rather unexpected change to E minor 11. But that's so beautiful, isn't it? It's kind of a tritone substitute, but not really. Seven, 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 uh, ten in a four strings. And then the eighth fret of the B string, and now we have actually an A7, A9 sus4. So E minor to A9 sus4. Or you just remain on the E. I think I did the playback with the A in bass. E and A. All right. This was the first phrase, so um, let's recap and I'll play this slowly. Three, four. And here are the next four bars. This is phrase number two. We start, we came from the E minor 11. Now we move to D minor 7 at the fifth here. So we have five, seven, five, six in a four strings. Eight fret of the B string. Put it away again and hammer and pull. So we have a triller, not a thriller, but a triller. Now another unexpected change, B flat minor 7. 6, 6, 6, 6. To the 8 of the B string, or use the ring finger or pinky. Glide over, and you have F major 7. 8, here's the F, 10, 9, 10. <coughs> then the B string again. So B flat 13. My ring, uh, my pinky glides over. Six, here's the, the root. Six of D, seven, eight. Six of B. A minor seven, just play five of E, D, G, and B strings. Then to A flat minor seven on the fourth, same thing. And the seventh of the G string. Right, so that was from F. Another one down to G minor seven. Um, three, 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 up to the B string. Sixth of E, sixth of e, uh, third of E by pressing against the E string. Sixth of B, move it in. C7. We have this before. 3, 5, 3, 5 in a four strings. C13. That's the upper chord for this C. Oops. 8, 9, 10, 10. A minor 7. 7, 9, 8, 8. Oops. And now we have one, uh, one chord per beat. So this is and it's it's um, syncopated, so this is four and one. Two has A flat seven, six, eight, seven, eight. Count three has G minor eleven. This remains the top note. So from here, move these three to the left, but leave this as it is. You get five, seven, six, eight, G minor eleven. And count number four. This one remains, but now I bar it, and I have either a C altered or a G flat 9 sharp 11 chord. Here would be the root for G flat. So 8, 9, 9, 8. All right, so we have. All right, now let me play phrase number two for you at slow tempo. 
One, two, three, four. So this is the A2 section and the first six bar are, bars are the same as the A1 section. So we are now in the second house for phrase number three. Um, and we are at that G minor. The first half is still the same also. Three, 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 three. Six, three of E, six of B. But now we don't go up to that, uh, sorry we go up to that C7 here. That's the 8, 8 of D and 9th of G, so. We add the 13, with which, which is the 10th of the B string. That's the melody. And then you go to the 5th of the G string, and the ending chord for the A section is F6. We're in F, so the ending chord is usually F6. 8, 7, 7, 6 of the inner four strings. So, um, and then we have a little pickup, E7, 7, 6, 7. And glide up to the 11th and 10th of the G string. Actually, this pickup already kind of belongs to the uh, B section. All right, so here is uh, phrase number three, the house, uh, second house of the A2 section, uh, of the A section. Three, four. Welcome to the B section. We had the uh, pickup from the last A section that was E7, then 11, 10 of the uh, G string. That leads us to an A triad first and then to the major chord. 12 of A, that's the A root, 11 and, and a 9. I already bar it because now I need the 9th of the E string. Then F sharp minor seven. I'll leave everything as is, but put my middle finger here. What we get is inner four strings, nine, 11, nine, 10. F sharp minor seven. Pinky to the 12th of the E and the 11th. B minor 7, I bar this, 7, 7 of G, 7 of B, and 10th of the E string, so upper 3 strings. Melody goes to the 9th, to the 7th, and to the 10th of the B. Now an E7 inversion, here's the E, 9 of D, G, B, and 10th of the E string, that's the 7th in bass. E7 inversion, then the G string, C sharp minor 7 is on the 9th fret, E and D string, then I add the G, this, this is the melody, the 11th of the G, then I change over to F sharp minor 9 chord, 9, 7, 9, 9, inner 4 strings, Move it out to the 10th of the B, bar it, 7th of the E, and the 9th of the E. So actually it's better to already bar the chord. B minor 11, 9, uh, sorry, here we need, uh, we go, 9, 11, 10, 12. 1 and 2 and I strum over it, B flat 7, flat 5, that's a filler chord for me. You don't need to do that, but um, otherwise uh, you have an open space. 6, 6, 7, 5. 
And now the pickup again, glide over, your ring finger is already on the correct string, G11 and 10. Pick up for the next phrase, which, which starts with the A major uh, again. Now here's phrase number four, it's a little tempo. One, let's play from the pickup. One, two, three, four. Phrase number five is the last phrase of the song already, and here we go. We have that pickup, and we're back to A major seven, so this is the same thing as we had before. High E string, F sharp minor seven, B minor seven, and that E seven inversion. So completely identical to the first two bars of phrase four of the previous phrase. But now we go to A minor 7, 5, 5, 5, and 5, upper 3 strings, 7 of E, then a triller from 5 to 7 to 5, that's hammer, pull, again, to D7 flat 9, which is the same as an F sharp diminished chord. 4, 5, 4, 5, upper 4 strings. I uh, slide over or glide over um, to the 6th of the E, to the 8th, and I've, I have a G minor 11 around it. Uh, 5, 7, 6, 8. 6 of the E string, and a C7 flat 9, which is the same as an E diminished. E, that's the 7th of the A. 8, 6, 8. 7, 8, 6, 8 inner four strings and that leads us back to uh, to the A section so let's uh, check phrase 5 at slow tempo 3, 4 If you like this lesson on polka dots and moonbeams, maybe you like some more chord melody ballads, and I have plenty up here on YouTube, just check out my channel. I hope you liked it and give me a thumbs up, share the love and the knowledge, and I see you next week. Servus, bye bye.